Thank you very much. Uh, what I would say in response to, to the discussion that just took place is we have to understand what's at stake. Nobody cares about hearing a bunch of politicians fight. They're not the slightest bit interested in that, and they shouldn't be interested in it. What's at stake here is a fight for the future of the middle class. And we do have different perspectives on how we fight for the middle class, how we fight for jobs, how we fight for health care. I believe, and I believe it very strongly, that there are entrenched special interests, very well financed. There's some examples are drug companies, insurance companies, oil companies, et cetera, that stand between America and the change that we need. And I think if you defend the way the system works, it's very hard to take those people on. I believe, and I've fought these people, I'm 54 years old, I've been fighting these people, these irresponsible corporations. And there are good corporations in America, Charlie. I want to point that out. Good corporations, good employers, Costco, AT&T, for example, is now working to you help unionize some of their, some of their offices and to we'll, bring we'll jobs get, back. But we'll I want to commercials no, let, me, later. let me finish this, though. I want to finish this. The point is this. I think there are differences between us about how we fight for the future of the middle class. And I believe you have to be willing to take on these entrenched special interests. And I think if you're not willing to do it, it is impossible to bring about the change that the country needs. And, Final and, word, Senator. And, and just to wrap up.